Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, uh, tonight we're going to talk about which statue is next. It's a question we're hearing a lot right now. Said in a rhetorical sense. And after tonight, well, last night by the time y'all watch this, it's a question I love. I want more people to ask me this question because it leads to an incredibly revealing place if we let it. So tonight we're going to talk about statues and systemic issues. For the last couple of weeks, I've had uh, this back and forth going on with this guy. Because he reached out very sincerely, asked to, for some help in understanding some of the current issues. And he's been very genuine in this conversation. Um, he, he wants to grow. However, he's got some baggage. He's got some things that he doesn't want to let go of. He doesn't want to acknowledge certain things. One thing in particular, he doesn't want to acknowledge because he knows that once he does, a whole bunch of his other talking points just crumble. So he's done everything within his power to deny that systemic racism exists. Until tonight. Until tonight. He reaches out out of the blue. And he's like, how do you feel about them taking down statues now that they're going after your boy. Who's my boy? Teddy Roosevelt. I bet I know which statue it is. And sure enough, that's the one. For those that don't know, the statue in front of the museum, that's not a new debate. That's been going on for years. People who are Teddy Roosevelt supporters want that thing gone. Um, it is not just a statue of Teddy Roosevelt. There are two other people in it. And if you look at that statue for any length of time, you'll understand why people want it gone. Um, now, I happen to be somebody who finds a lot of the things that Teddy Roosevelt did admirable. I think there's a lot of inspiration that can be pulled from his life. I've talked about it on this channel before. Now, before anybody starts writing all of the horrible stuff that relates to Teddy Roosevelt, I know. I know. He was a person. He was a historical figure. He was an actual human being. He wasn't infallible. He wasn't flawless. He made mistakes and he believed some messed up stuff. Yes. He was a racist. Period. Um, but there are some positive things that can be taken from him. And he did accomplish a lot of good. So... I explained to him that Teddy probably would have been cool with the statue being taken down. And I have to break it down, and I'm like, look, this is a guy who, one of the bad things about him was that he definitely understood sacrificing things or people um, in pursuit of a wider campaign. And if that campaign had a large component that was about battling police corruption, Oh, he would have been down for that. I mean, Teddy would be masking up right now. Um, that was kind of his whole thing when he started. He was a police commissioner who worked to weed out corruption in New York. Um, he literally fought corrupt cops. So I think he would have been all right with it. At this moment in history, it coming down as part of this, I think he would have been okay with it. And he's like, but I don't understand that. You like the guy. I'm like, I like some things about him, but either way, me liking him has nothing to do with whether or not he's a racist. I mean, that's kind of a weird measure to use right there. And he's like, well, I don't, I don't get it. You said he did all these good things and these progressive things that he, he pushed. Yeah, all that's true. That doesn't change the fact that he was a racist, though. He's like, well, I don't get it. If you use that metric, if you use that standard, then... We won't have any leaders left. We won't have any statues left. Go on. <laughs> and he goes on to tell me that, like, okay, fine, not all of them, but like 95% of them were racist to some degree. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the point. Hidden in this question, which statue is next, is the admission of systemic racism. They're saying, well, we'd have a hard time coming up with a statue of somebody in this country that wasn't racist. That's a pretty big indictment to the country right there. 
And if 95%, 90%, 80% of them were, what does that say about the society they helped create, the system they put in place, the laws they wrote? It permeates the whole culture. It's everywhere. And in that question, well, which statue is next? You could do it to any of them. Is it admission that it is systemic, that it is institutionalized? I love this question now. Whenever that comes up, that's where the conversation needs to go. Because with this guy, who I've been talking to for weeks about this, he wasn't budging until tonight. I actually heard him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really simple. Look, taking down these statues, it's not going to change the world. It's not going to end racism tomorrow any more than the Civil War or the Civil Rights Act did. But it's one more thing. It's one more thing. And do we have to take them all down? No, we don't. But maybe take down the ones like that one that definitely highlight that institutional issue. Those should probably be at the top of the list. Now, to those people who all of a sudden are super interested in defending Teddy Roosevelt's statue, I, I got a couple things I want to point out. First is that I am pretty sure he would be okay with it going right now. The second is he would not have liked you. Teddy was a person who was all about individual achievement. All about what you did. He was not somebody who was like, oh, well, we have to keep this statue because of tradition. Or America's great because of what my daddy did. He would not have cared. He wouldn't have liked you at all. He was about change. He was about what you as a person did. If you're clinging to the past and you're wanting to get your sense of pride from yesterday, <laughs> he wouldn't have wanted to be around you. I am certain of that. I would also point out one of his more famous quotes says to announce that there must be no criticism of the president is morally treasonable to the American public. He would have been fine with people pointing out his issues. He would have been okay with it because he was about the country growing. He didn't want to live in the past. He wanted to build a future. I find it hilarious that this is the one that people are really mad about. The one guy who probably would have taken him into a boxing ring because that's what he did. And if you want to learn something from Teddy, understand that one of the most important lessons that man's life can teach you is that it's really important to help other people get up, not hold them down. Because if they get up, they may be better than you. And you have to get better. And strong men, tough men, men like Teddy Roosevelt, they weren't afraid of the competition. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.